Welcome to Terra. This video is an overview of cloud resources in Terra, and how you'll use them when storing and analyzing data in a Terra workspace. Behind the scenes, Terra uses many Google Cloud resources, such as dedicated workspace cloud storage, persistent disk storage, and compute engines for running analyses on virtual machines. Let's go over what these cloud components are, and how you'll use them to store data and run analysis tools like GATK, Best Practice Whittles, Jupyter Notebooks, Galaxy, and RStudio, all in a Terra workspace. The workspace is where you will store data and run analyses in Terra. Each workspace comes with dedicated cloud storage, shared by all collaborators. If you have data stored locally, you can upload it to your workspace storage for analysis on Terra, and store the file locations as metadata in a workspace data table. Tables act like spreadsheets built into your workspace to help you organize and manage data in the cloud. For example, to analyze data stored outside of your workspace in external cloud storage, or in a repository like Gen3, just add the data file's uniform resource identifier, or interoperable DIRS URIs to the data table. Tables link to the files wherever they exist. You don't necessarily need to move data into your own storage to analyze it in Terra. As long as it has a cloud identifier, you can reference and use data in an analysis, no matter where the files are physically located. When you run a workflow, Terra sets up a Google Compute VM to run the analysis. The VM can pull input file IDs and locations directly from your workspace data tables and bring the data from wherever it is stored into the VM to process. Terra takes care of executing the workflow code in the background. When the job is complete, the VM saves output files to workspace storage and writes the file locations to the data table. Tables can help keep output data associated with the input data. In this case the BAM file for the subject is right next to the input. When the workflow is complete, Terra deletes the VM so you don't pay for resources you're no longer using. You can also run interactive analysis apps in Terra. Galaxy, Jupyter Notebooks, and RStudio run in a cloud environment virtual machine. Each cloud environment comes with its own persistent disk storage and VM compute engine. You can customize the cloud environment right in Terra when you launch Galaxy, Jupyter, or RStudio. You will need to move input data into the cloud environment persistent disk for analysis, even data from workspace storage, because these are separate systems. When you run your analysis, generated data files are stored in the persistent disk. Because your cloud environment is unique to you, only you can see files in your persistent disk. Other colleagues working in the workspace can't access your generated data. To share output data with teammates, or to use it as input for a workflow, you'll have to copy it to workspace storage. From workspace storage, you can also copy it to local storage, for example, to archive it. In summary, Terra runs on Google Cloud infrastructure, and uses resources like cloud storage and VMs to store and analyze data. Your Terra workspace includes dedicated cloud storage and integrated data tables. Terra sets up a Google Cloud VM to run a workflow analysis. The VM is integrated with workspace storage and workspace data tables. You run interactive analyses like Galaxy, Jupyter, and RStudio in your cloud environment, which has its own VM and persistent disk storage. Your cloud environment is unique to you. To share output data with colleagues or use it as input for a workflow, you will need to copy it to workspace storage. To learn more, check out our other resources including online courses, videos and tutorials, and documentation at support.terra.bio.